The whale barnacles are an amazing thing. Anyone who's been around the ocean knows that barnacles are everywhere. They grow on all the rocks and they grow on the bottom of your boat. Well, the barnacles that grow on a humpback are specific humpback whale barnacles. They, they have evolved to live on humpback whales. And it's pretty amazing. Um, they're huge or several inches around. And a humpback can have almost a thousand pounds of these things on one whale. But when you consider a humpback can weigh 80,000 pounds, it's not that much. And they've evolved to live with them in a, in a cooperative commensal thing where the, the barnacles don't hurt the whale and, they, uh, and the whale actually provides them a platform to find food because barnacles are filter feeders they like the, like the whale. Um, to a point and but barnacles like most uh, marine invertebrates when they're babies they're planktonic they're drifting around in the plank in the ocean and we think that these guys breed the barnacles spawn in Hawaii where our whales are breeding where it's warm water and shallow and the, the barnacles are drifting around the plankton and they they somehow sense a whale there they smell it or somehow sense the whale land on it, move to where they want to be attached, which is on the tail flukes and the pectoral flippers and, and the head. And then they they attach themselves and they grow, they grow into it a little bit. And I was just reading on it where the whale actually, the tissue is actually kind of sucked up into the barnacles. So they're attached really tight, but they only live, they think they only live about a year. They fall off when they get to Hawaii and that new ones are attached. So these, whale, these barnacles are com constantly coming. And they might actually provide the whale a positive thing because we think they might, the males fight in Hawaii and, and bump into each other and whack each other with their, their flippers and their flukes. And they have these barnacles on them. It's like wearing brass knuckles. And we think some of the scars and the injuries we see on whales are actually caused by these barnacles that, that, that they use. And there's also a thought that they might use it as, as a defensive mechanism that they turn their barnacles to when a, a shark or an orca is trying to bite them. They end up just with a mouthful of barnacles. But that's kind of speculation. But 